first time I saw the Civil Rights Memorial, it was dust dark, and the street was quiet, and no cars hardly, and no people. It's softened by water, water that runs continuously. The names are etched, carved into the stone. Because the civil rights movement was etched into the fabric of, of this country. And all of the hardness and all of the deaths, all of the memories are softened by things that are better now. And so the stone is softened by the water running. It evokes memories that you'd like to forget, but they're there for all the world to see. I went up, and I touched it. I traced the names. I let the water run over my hands. I'm a part of this. Even though I didn't march, I didn't go to jail, I am a part of this. These people will be remembered. These times will be remembered. We will never forget what happened. the assassination of Dr. King. The bombing of the church where the four little girls died. I lived in Birmingham at that time. It was awful, awful. People had spoken to each other for years. All of a sudden they hated each other. We used to take in each other's clothes when it rained. Then that happened, and all of a sudden I was black, and they were white. Water is soothing. Water is comforting. Water is constant. Water is healing. And that's what I feel when I put my hands on the memorial over the names, over the dates of the people who gave the ultimate sacrifice for civil rights. It is a reflecting, moving, constant reminder of what was what is and what will be.